Just last week, we brought to you reports on the deplorable condition of Aba, a major commercial nerve of Abia State, southeast of Nigeria. Please recall that our eyewitness reporter had sent in a picture of the Aba Port Harcourt Road, complaining that the road had become a shadow of itself. Word got to us that, not waiting for the federal government, the state government had swung into action to salvage the situation in form of palliative measures on the road. Our eyewitness crew paid a visit to the area to verify those claims, and here's what we came back with. Residents of Abai in Abia State, especially those living along Abai, Ekot, Ekpene, and Port Harcourt Road, are still groaning over the effect of the debilitated road in and around the area. For about 15 years, residents say the bad road has hampered socioeconomic activities in the state. The roads have also affected movements between Abia State and Akwaibom, Cross River and other South-South states. For instance, this road links River State in less than 45 minutes, but it's now a death trap with potholes and flooding. The situation is not different in Abai Kotek Pene, where the deplorable road infrastructure after a area market has become a menace. The people of the area are calling on the state government to help. It has created a lot of even security problems because uh, you, you, you know very well that any place where there is bad road, hoodlums tend to gather there so that when the, when the people who are passing are, are finding problem, finding problematic to pass, then they will come upon them. So such is the problem of this uh, uh, of, the, of, the, of this very area of bad road which you are seeing here. So this is a Kotekwene road. Actually it has been like this for some years now. When we are talking about years, it has been years, more than 15 years now. So we are asking the federal government to come and do something actually. The state has been trying, but the federal is a federal road, so we are pleading to them to come to our rescue. You can see our business, everybody just loitering around because there is no vehicle, big one can even pass here. If you check the road very well, you see a lot of damage is there. There's a market there. So I wonder how they can sell if you can you you yourself you stopped here because there, you don't have any good access to go to that market. So that's what we are asking to government to come to our rescue. You can't even cross here. If there is too much rain, you cannot even cross. No vehicle can cross, even legs. I find it difficult to cross. The state government is certainly not turning deaf ears to the situation. They say although the road is a federal government road which requires a huge fund to repair, it is making efforts to alleviate the suffering of the people. The state government says it has created a temporary road diversion through the hinterland and promised that when the rainy season is over, it will commence palliative rehabilitation measures. The issue of Port Road and Ekotopene Road, even as we speak, those, the roads, you can't pass them. They are terribly bad. It's only in Nigeria that we have roads that are known to be federal roads. Portacourt Road and Ekotopin Road are all federal roads. Uh, the Abia State Government, the Governor, has one time visited the, the Minister for Works. The Governor visited with his Commissioner for Works. That's part of our own part of the deal to see how we can fix those roads. And the Governor of Abia and the Governor of Cross, Akwaibum and the Governor of Rivers have also met with the uh, Minister for Works on this on the issue of these roads. So it is not so to say the responsibility of Abia State Government. But the roads are in Abia. We can't fold our arms because they're affecting us. They're affecting us in everything. Our people are living on those roads. It's affecting the economic life of Abba and the economic life of Abia. People can no longer come in from Akwaibum, Cross River, Cameroon to buy into Abba because the access road is no longer there. The Abia State Government is doing a road from where we call the lag, where we have the hospital, the boundary between Abia and Akwaibo. 
if there is going to be a road from Lago to Owo, then you get into Mombiakwa. That means that road will not join the Uluruka road. So if you are coming from Aba, you cannot get to Lago, go to Omobiakwa, link uh, Owo, then down to Lago, and you are in Akwebu. Also, we are also doing another alternative route. Through Uluruka road, you get to where we call Omaru. You get to uh, Omaru, you go to Omaru, you go to Korazu, you are in Akwebu. So while waiting for the federal government to tidy up what they are doing to fix the main Ekot of Enaba road, these are the alternatives that the other state government is doing, and this road will be done, will be ready before the next rainy weather. It also seemed like good news within the Aba metropolis, as work is in progress on Forks Road and Aba Oweri Road. As soon as we get into the dry weather proper, the other state government is also going to do palliative at the major points on Ekotepeni Road, uh, from Upopo Junction, Eheri Market, down to uh, somewhere in Aloji. Same thing on Potakot Road. In fact, that of Potakot Road is even more critical. That's even what the state government is saying that we must do everything to get into. Because if you remember that, Along Patakoto is where we have the major spear pass market. That, now that's the road that leads you to uh, the Asanentu Analogy uh, Motor Spear Pass Dela. So the state government is also in talk with the federal government to do that road. Irrespective of whose responsibility it is to rehabilitate the roads in Abba, the commercial city of Abia State, the fact remains that socioeconomic activities are being stalled daily in the city and Nigerians living there want the roads repaired as soon as possible. The opportunities are endless when you have the Channels TV app on any of your mobile devices. All that is required of you is to tap on the app to reveal the menu and tap on the eyewitness icon to have all your stories told. Let's have a look at some of the ones that you have sent in for this week. Here are some photos you sent to our portal. We begin with this one which shows a bent electricity pole along Langbasa Road in Aja area of Lagos State. Our eyewitness reporter calls on relevant agencies to fix it. Our next photo was sent in from Yanoipaja area, also in Lagos. Our eyewitness reporter calls on local council authorities to repair it. This is from Badagri, also in Lagos State. Eyewitness reporter wants the government to repair this bad road. Similar to that is this picture, which shows the poor condition of this portion of the Suleja Mina Road in Niger State. This is from Umunya in Anambra State. Our eyewitness reporter wants the government to fix this road. This picture of an illegal refuse dump was sent in from Ilorin in Kwara State. Eyewitness reporter is calling on the concerned authorities to look into it. We can see cows moving along the Shehu Shagari Road in the Federal Capital Territory. Eyewitness reporter wants the government to end this rising trend. From Adigbe of Adaoko in Ogun State comes this picture showing a collapsed bridge. Eyewitness reporter is appealing to the government to do something about this bridge. Thank you for sending in those pictures. We urge you to keep them coming. Rather than complain about anything you are not satisfied with in your area, make a change by telling the story. You can do so on Eyewitness Report, this program. All you need to do is document such in a photo or video and upload it on our Eyewitness Portal and you're telling your own story. Only remember to add your name, location and a form of contact like telephone number or email address. This is where we draw the curtains on Eyewitness Report 
for this week. Please keep the photos and videos rolling in and you can be sure we'll get you covered. I'm Kaede Alayande. Bye for now.